Yo, what is up guys? Starting a new free to play series in the life after world. Here we go. So I already did some, I already claimed some rewards, man. I'm not sure what I did. Guys, we're going to be starting our adventure. Let's first claim the rewards. And we have zombies in the freaking base already, man. Guys, what we will do in this episode is go do some tasks, you know, start the free to play series. And I will probably upload this every two days, every one day. Depends on how busy I am and depends how we do, how much support I will get on this video. I'm not going to be spending a single money money, so I'm not going to spend any money at all, guys. No pennies at all. Just basically free to play. So we're going to claim some rewards here. There's going to be loads of stuff that we will be getting. There's the training, you know, stuff. Uh, we can claim that already. Nice. I'm already leveling up here. And after I level up, I can just upgrade this, but I can't really upgrade that because we don't have skill points yet. So to get skill points, we have to do tasks, which are located right over here, as you can see, site 101 development zone. The development zone is our base. Okay, so this is our mailbox. This is our mailbox, private mailbox, my dudes. This is our controller. This is where you will be upgrading your house. And basically the task says, go to the manor mailbox and find the supply sent by 101. This is our mailbox, so click receive on that. And bam, we just collect all the stuff we're getting from this. Let's see what we got, dude. We got 2k gold, 10 blueprints. Okay, so now it says, place the gear workstation bed and wine cabinet. That's good. Oh, we also get machete, man, and some tools. Okay, now we can grab this stuff, see, so now we can actually defend against the zombies if there's any. We're gonna be getting our nice little base down. Let's just get this stuff down. Um, most important stuff is bed, you know, workbenches. Let's get that down. A barbecue, let's rotate it. We got workbench. We got another workstation. Okay, reposition the furniture. Thank you, game. I don't need that. Let's just rotate this ourselves just like that okay and this is our blueprint machine this is where it will be unlocking blueprints from this machine so i can obviously spend the blueprints but i don't really want to man i don't really want to spend the blueprints because i want to save it for probably this you know i want to save it for this which will we will need level 10 crafting but i advise not spending your blueprints on this stuff even if it would be great, I wouldn't, guys. Just don't spend it. 10 blueprints is still something at the start, so, you know, I will save it. Now, next up, I'm kind of hungry, so a good recipe is four berries. This will craft jam. Uh, you already know that recipe, but, you know, there's 60 recipes in this game, and I will basically tell you guys the recipes later, because this is not really important now, but... I'm gonna just, I made jam just so I can uh, replenish my hunger. Now, just let's just continue the, you know, tasks. Rachel has something to tell you. Go talk to her. Okay, so Rachel, guys, is literally right over here. That's Rachel. Let's talk to her. Tell me I'm listening. Okay, I'm gonna skip through everything. So, she tells us to read the, you know, survival manual. This is what you will need to do. Fall forest, we get to do book tasks. We have to go to the forest, farm stuff there. The task says to store something in my wire cabinet. I'm gonna call this stuff. And when you rename your boxes, guys, you can click on settings. And when you click on settings, you can click model display name, press yes, and then stuff will get displayed and it will show the quantity of your box. Also, if you want to change the color, this is what you can do. You basically type in red, for example. That will give you a red color. As you can see, stuff it looks pretty neat, huh? You can also do, you know, green stuff. For example, hashtag G, that will make it green. Settings, you can also make it blue. B stuff, that will make it literally blue, which is awesome. And I'm going to keep it as green. This is my first box, so, you know, let's keep it green for that. And I can see how much stuff I have stored in my boxes. Anyways, let's uh, put away everything. The walls, the chairs, the whatever. I'm just keeping tools. We don't need anything else. Let's go to the forest, man. And click open. And this is the autumn forest. This is where we need to go. Let's go. You can also team up. Maybe you will find someone's party, you know. Let's actually click join. And now I joined somebody's party. As you can see, this guy, B-A-G-R-A, -A, is in the autumn forest. I can go there 
and then I can meet him but I click team up just because just to give you guys an example how to find parties for example if you don't want to play alone and you want to play with a stranger or something you can always find a party you know but I'll mostly I'll be playing solo in, in these free to play series guys so no big deal you know but anyways what do we have to do now you click on the book this is where you will have to do most of your stuff click on the book and now it says to we already did these tasks store stuff you know this one is travel to the forest and this one says gather wood and 60 stone 700 wood this one says 15 hemp six berries and this one says send four berries 550 wood and 10 hemp to the helicopter simple as that it's simple as that this still stays the same before but we needed to translate this when there was chinese version right but now we don't really need to do anything now since english is out we can easily just read the book manual and just do tasks of what it says there so i'm gonna grind the tasks guys i'm gonna grind it all out and then i'll meet you there oh and uh, just uh, a little bit of a tip guys um these zones you see here, Minor Island 1, it's basically the higher these are, the higher the zombies are, so the higher level you will find. As you can see, it says recommended combat level 15, it means you will find 15 level 15 zombies. You are currently level 3 or level 1, I'm not sure what level you are, but um, you're gonna be like, at, you know, you're not gonna be level 15, so I advise to not go to the level 15 areas, you know, because it depends on your combat level, guys. And when you reach nighttime, the infected are about to appear, you're gonna find, you know, zombies spawning at nighttime. And when the nighttime comes, first simple thing you will never find animals in nighttime, and you will never find NPCs in nighttime. NPCs are basically there for completing tasks, I will be explaining that later. So once you get hungry guys, just saying that when you get hungry, you need to eat so you can be faster on gathering stuff. So as you can see, one chop decreases one hunger point and I just got pounced by a zombie so let's, get, let's just get out of here. Um, always equip a machete, you will be running faster than equipping a tool or just unequip a tool, you will run faster. If you find berries, you can just eat them raw, I mean you don't need to cook them. And uh, if you find a cave, you can find boxes inside and just loot those boxes, um, you know. You can find stuff in those boxes. And I think that's going to be your task later on. Now we got fertilizers. These are going to be useful later on. And we got hardwood wine, iron ores, two berry bushes. Exactly what I need. Actually, that's not a berry bush. That's a uh, vegetable. That's a rapeseed, by the way. Um, rape seeds are vegetables, you know. You can also use them in cooking. And sometimes NPCs ask you to make for their tasks. So we did all the manual now. So let me just open this box real quick. So, this is it. Now we need to go to the helicopter. A helicopter is located right over here on the map. These points. Um, the task tells me to go here, but you can actually... I think you can leave through here, so... Um, I'm gonna leave through here. Let's see if this works. It just basically tells you to deliver resources, guys. And now pay attention of how I'm gonna deliver the resources. This is really important because you might get stuck here if you don't really pay attention. So you basically have to just climb up this big tower. Each helicopter always works like this. You always have to climb up the tower, you know, and then you will see an NPC, Postman. Click use on him and this is what it is. This mailing service is basically just use... You press send all and then it will send all the resources. There's a task for sending the resources, but I will get into that later when we learn how to send resources, you know. You just basically get to this guy, press use and, you know, press the mailing service and press send all right over here. Then you press mail to camp. Everything you press mail to camp will get sent to your mailbox. So if you open your messages, notifications, personal info, this shows what you have been sent into your mailbox. Um, if there's tax, it will show how much you actually received. So if you send 5 flint, for example, and the tax deducted like 1 flint, it will show 4 flint, so yeah. And if you reached a limit, this is your limit. As you can see, free quota left. I can send 54 more blue items, and I can send 94 green items. This is green, this is blue. Valuable is blue, and rare is green, okay? So if you send above 120 you will have to pay gold to send them and then after you send it all above the limits you will need to wait the next day for it to reset so this will get reset every day guys don't worry 
But just saying, if you're already above the limit, you can also store items at him right over here. So storage service is basically, you know, you can store items here. And if you want to leave, you just boom, go back to camp and then your bandage is going to sit here or something. But I don't want to keep the bandages here. So, okay, let's go back to our base, guys. So it says the resources are shipped into the wilderness will be sent to your mailbox. Go home and claim. OK, so this is our mailbox. Remember, guys, that's what I told you. And this is our stuff. So accept all we get all the stuff that we farmed from the zone. And now we will need to make more boxes, obviously. Right. And let's see what this means. Um, actually, no. Use the oven to cook one dish. Dishes can elevate hunger better. So let's cook a dish. Let's see what this video shows us to cook. Probably four berries. Yeah. OK, so let's make a jam, basically. Just add four berries, you know, and then it will make a jam. That's what the quest asks us to do. The next one is claim the survival manual rewards furniture like wooden boards and small. OK, so we have to make free wooden boards, guys, and make a small cabinet. This is what you do. You find this material bench, click craft, and we just basically make free planks just like that. And then we wait. Next thing we have to do is claim the survival manual rewards. Workable rag and armor jackets can be, you know, we can make rag. A rag is probably um, this. We basically go on this gear workstation, click craft, then we click on armor making, then we click on workable and we make five rags just like this. And we wait. And after that's done, we will make casual jacket and then you can make you know, any type of skin you want. And next, what we have to do is store stuff here. And that's pretty it for this quest. Then we will be doing Fall Forest 2, I'm pretty sure. So this is done, as you can see, my crafting leveled up. Um, if I click armor making again, casual jacket, boom. Oh, you actually unlock this armor at level 2 manual. I can't, I can't really craft this yet because I'm not house level 2. But when you reach house level 2, you will be able to make the skin. So it gives you a little bit extra bonus, as you can see right here. Fine work and vitality and all that stuff. So, well, yeah, I'm crafting this armor and it takes 10 seconds to craft it. It's pretty easy. So next up, planks are done. Let me just go to formula and you need to make yourself furniture. Click on furniture tab. Basically go to the material bench, click craft furniture and make a small cabinet click craft and then we wait for that okay so armor's done we click tap to claim we get achievements once you craft something unique you know i mean not unique but when you complete some tasks that are simple so tap to claim small cabinet click build and now i'm gonna build this chest somewhere here let's actually crank it down here you know it's it's our task we have to do that this is all done cooking dishes let's claim our jam and let's eat it. Bam. Let's just eat it. Eating jam. Boom, boom, boom. And we have newbie. Um, as you can see, cooking dish is done. So we have a last one. Um, we have to store something in here. So let's, for example, store iron ores here. Let me take... I don't have any iron ores, but let's just store stones here or something. I don't know. And let's store all the stuff here like that. Okay. Not really organized, but we're going to organize it later. Hopefully. And now, as you can see, task is done. Claim rewards, guys. As you can see, you get five blueprints. Save those and do not waste them ever. Trust me, guys. You will need those formula shards. So we click claim and we got it. Next task is going to fall forest second time. So it says with armor, you can go further into the hell, you know. So yeah, it says to make arrows, bandages, get bones, blah, blah, blah. So let's do this. It tells me to make a bow, so a bow costs 180 wood and 90 stones. Let me just get that real quick. 180 wood and 90 stones. Here, you, as you can see, that's what we need. I'm going to craft a bow, and I'm doing it at, ham, at my house. You know, I don't really want to farm resources in the zone because it takes forever. And I'm going to make arrows too. And for arrows, we need stones too. It's kind of sucky, bro. But let's grab 120 wood. That's what arrows cost. Let me put the blueprints away. We will not use that. And let's go to the helicopter. So we got a bow. We got stuff, guys. We're good to go, man. We're good to go. And uh, just saying, guys, you can always claim rewards here. Basically, click on this one right here. Click on it and then hope fund. And you just click quick, quick claim, you know, and then you will claim all those rewards that you need. Um, this is not claimable. This is only if you purchase it. And it costs $15 to claim this. I'm not going to be purchasing this, as I said. 
This is free to play series, guys. So let's go to the helicopter. Autumn forest. Proceed. All right, we are in the forest. What do we need to do now? Let's check the book. Okay, so it says, in order to deal with various threats, collect resources and make one set of arrows. Okay, let's make arrows and bandage. I need to look for hemp and I need to look for stone. Got one. I really hate nighttime, dude. I really hate it. But can I kill a zombie real fast? Let's see if we can. I'm pretty sure I can. Okay, these guys are tough, dude. Don't machete them, because, oh, man, they're taking... They're gonna take a little bit to kill. But they will despawn, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, they despawn when that when nighttime ends, so... Don't worry about it. Let's get the stone. Get away from my stone, homie. Get away from my stone. That's my stone. There is a couple more stones there. One stone right over here, guys. Are we finding those caves, boy? Is this even a cave? No, it's not. I still need stones, though, to make arrows. And arrows, we need... Four more stones or six more stones, didn't see how many. But now we can make arrows, so let's craft arrows. Arrows take so... Arrows don't take much, just like three seconds and it's done. Okay, so arrows are done, and now we can start using our bow, guys. We can kill a deer, at least, I'm pretty sure. Hey, deer, don't run away from me, man. Okay, we got a deer killed. Nice, I like it. That's dope, that's dope. So what we have to do now is make a bandage and then we have to get bones. So we're going to be hunting a little bit of a dudes there. A little bit of a dudes. What I mean dudes is wolves, you know, deers, whatever. Just things that drop bones. Zombies drop bones too also. And I can I can loot those boxes. I mean, why not? They do give you loot, you know. Bandage. We got a bandage. Okay, I can make a bandage now. So that's what we need for our task. Bandage is done. And this is task. This task, as you can see, is done. Now we need to kill these guys and gather twig, gather iron ore, gather flint. You cannot gather flint while it's raining. So if it's raining, don't even try mining a rock. If it's raining, okay guys? Because if it's raining and you're mining a rock, you won't get flint. Same goes for rope. If you need to get rope, you will not get rope while it's not raining. But if it's raining, you will get rope. So yeah, that's how it works. Rope is obtained by chopping trees, by the way, guys. So we killed the wolf. Um, we need to find more bones. Hopefully we can find more dudes. And as you can see, guys, it started raining. And when it starts raining, you will find mushrooms on the ground. Mushrooms spawn only when it's raining. And we just leveled up. Okay. So we're going to be clicking learn on this. Clicking. Okay, okay. Let's get that. So let's upgrade everything. We need everything upgraded, man. Learn that. Learn that. Everything's really important at the start. But later on, you know, things don't really get that much important anymore. But for now, let's learn everything we need. As you can see, we got a hardwood wine by chopping that tree down. Because it's raining, so... Just saying, you can get it only through the rain, guys. Oh, and when you chop trees, you will be randomly getting this. Sapling is used on planting it in your garden. And when you plant this in your garden, it will take two hours approximately to grow. And then you can harvest it for, you know, additional wood and twigs. It takes three by three slots, by the way, in your garden, so yeah, that's a little bit uh, big, but you get those saplings from chopping trees randomly in the forest. I'll probably explore everything here later on, guys, but now I'm just doing the tasks. Mainly you do the tasks here. I need to gather five more twig, get three more flint, so let's try to get more twigs for now. Oh, and the most annoying thing about um, the rain is sometimes you will be... You know, you will stop running. So as you can see, this buff right over here, slight cold. The flu makes you feel too weak to run. This is basically stopping you from running. So the rain makes you... I mean, the rain makes you sick or something. So that's why you can't run. I know it sucks. And there's a bear, dude. Oh, well. I'm not going there, man. Anyways, another thing is about quest items. Special items. These are special items that you will give to NPCs to get additional experience. You know, you need to talk to an NPC. If you get this item, you need to talk to an NPC and give them the item. I advise to not give them any items at all yet. Trust me, guys, do not do it. Because I think you're wasting experience if you give those items now at the start of the game. But later on in the game, you will be getting more experience the more you level up. So the more you level up, the more experience you get, you know? So for example, if you're like level 10, you will get, you know, 2,000 experience per a quest item, but if you're like level 30, you will get 7,000 experience per quest item. So I advise to just save it up, and when you're like higher level, just basically give the quest items to the NPCs. Rain just stop. That's good. That's good. I really hate rain in this game, anyways. Um, there are some boxes here. You know, you can loot those. You can kill zombies here. 
I'm gonna actually kill those zombies because they drop me bones. And they drop those blue potions, infected blood, as you can see. That can be used and sold for cash in the town. So now I have two of those. And yeah, I will be transporting that in my base and then later on I will sell it. So we need three more bones, a little bit of more twig. We need to find rocks as soon as possible because in case the range starts again, we will not be able to get flint. But hopefully I can get the flint now. It's gonna take a while. I'm so sure. So yeah, I mined a little bit of stones and guess what? I'm not getting flint for some reason because probably this pickaxe sucks. But I'm gonna try my best to farm as many stones as I can. Let's see if this one's gonna give us. Or maybe I should just open boxes to get flint. Probably that would be the best idea. And you will be able to upgrade your tools later on in game. Just now, you can't really do that yet because you're low level. Okay, my inventory is actually full. I have one flint though, so I should be able to fit it. Let's eat those mushrooms. They're kind of useless. Let's try to get that flint, bro. We're just getting... Oh, there we go. We got flint. Flint again. And another flint. We just got three flint and one rock. Okay, we have four guys. Next up in the book, we need to get four twigs, so we have to chop, you know, trees. And now, since I'm full inventory, I will need to deposit the stuff soon, so I'll need to go to the helicopter. Another wolf just came by. Thank you. I really need you, man. I really need you for bones. Defeat a wolf. Okay, we got another achievement. And I should be done right now. I just need one more twig. I need one more. Okay, I need two more twigs, not one. Two more twigs and then we're good. Okay, we need one more twig. There we go. We got it. We got it, guys. We got the twig. We got the twigs. So now if you click on newbie, this one's done. And then we just have to ship it all. So we need to get one more bone. And that shouldn't be a problem. There is zombies everywhere. So I will probably try to use my bow to snipe a zombie. There are zombies up there. Let's just grab our bow. Get ready for some sharp shooting. Boom, right in the head. He doesn't really die instantly, but, you know, let's try to hit him in the body. Bam, he's dead. Okay, so he should drop a bone. They will always drop you a bone, no matter what. And let's go to the helicopter now. The helicopter's right there. If you click on the map, you know, you can just click and mark points wherever you want to mark. So it's pretty easy to put on markers on your map. You can double-click it, I'm pretty sure, which will make a duplicate marker right over there, so... You can actually spam markers, but I don't advise doing that because you cannot remove those markers. Anyways, we did three tasks in this video, guys. I hope you learned something new, you know, and let me just show you how I send the resources home again. Someone just died here, dude. Let's revive this poor girl. Why not, dude? Everyone's starting here, so let's just revive her. Okay, so we're basically sending the resources back. Just press send all and everything's gonna get sent home. Just like that as you can see and now we have 42 blue items left 52 green items left and it's unlimited for common items which are gray items so yeah this is it guys this is how you do this stuff so now since we did this one we can claim the rewards from that one okay claim and then we're gonna be making weapons on the fourth quest and then set out again once you get to this quest right over here set out again you will be able to do forest tasks which will be crucial later on in getting experience and gold. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if this helped you guys. Let me know if you enjoy the free-to-play series. I will definitely make more if you guys want me to. Please leave some feedback in the comments. Please let me know if you like this. And make sure you like this video if you indeed did. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.